Station computer program, which generates the flight-like displays we see in the satellite video feed in this broadcast. Even with the telemetry traveling at the speed of light via satellite, these transmissions, relays, and data processing take a little time. So we'll end up seeing flight events several seconds after they happen. As the flight progresses, delay times increase because the rocket passes out of range of the Baikonur receiving stations. As that occurs, other receiving stations, now within range of the rocket's transmissions, start receiving the data. It's sort of like changing your car's radio stations as they fade in and out during a cross-country drive. Well, Jim, we thank you so much. We're getting so close to launch, we were beginning to receive call-out mark events from Baikonur. Let's listen. F3 communication satellite into geostationary orbit at 118.7 degrees west longitude. This is the first leg of a mission to provide new and expanded telecommunications broadcasting and business communications and internet-based services to Telesat customers in Canada and North America. At about 10 seconds, the roll maneuver will be completed and soon we will fly through maximum dynamic pressure. Maximum dynamic pressure, or max-Q, will occur at about 65 seconds after liftoff. All of the engine parameters that are being monitored are operating nominally. We have now just completed going through max-Q. Everything seems to be proceeding normally with the operation of the first stage engines and right now the vehicle is at a velocity of 500 meters per second at an altitude of 11 kilometers. Everything continues to look good during the operation of the first stage. The vehicle is at a velocity of 900 meters per second and an altitude of 14 kilometers. We have a good separation from the first and second stages. The second stage engines actually light while still attached to the first stage. This is what we call a hot fire separation. And the exhaust from the engines escapes through the open grid work between the two stages. And it looks like we have a good burn on all four engines of the second stage. All of the engine operations are looking very, very good. Trajectory is nominal. All engine parameters operating properly. Currently, we are at an altitude of approximately 60 kilometers, traveling at a speed of about 3,000 meters per second, or about two miles per second. Other key milestones or marked events are coming up in the next few minutes. The next one will be stage 2-3 separation at L plus 5 minutes and 31 seconds. Following that, payload fairing jettison occurs. Both, both of these events, of course, are key to the mission's success. Marla? It was a beautiful launch. Thank you. Fantastic, Jim. Thank you for that insight. Now, the continued success of the Telesat legacy is thanks in part to the organization's leadership. President and CEO Dan Goldberg is in Baikonur today witnessing his first launch as head of the company. We had a chance to talk to him while he toured the Space Center yesterday. Let's watch now and listen.